going to see about shallow foundation. Before going into our topic that is shallow foundation, we must know what is foundation. Foundation is the bottommost part of the structure that is it is the part on which a building stands. Foundation always transfers the load from column to large area of the soil. Okay, now what is shallow foundation? If the width of a foundation is greater than the depth of it, then it is called as shallow foundation. There are five types of shallow foundation. They are isolated spread footing, wall footing or strip footing, combined footing, staff footing, raft or mat footing. So we are going to elaborately see about all these footings. First we are going to see about isolated spread footing. This isolated spread footing is also called as independent footing. This is the most simple and most common type of footing used in structures because it is very economical up to 5 story buildings. It is economical when columns are not spaced clo closely that is the spacing between co columns should be convenient for placing the footing and load of the structure is low and bearing capacity of the soil is high. This isolated spread footing directly transfers the load from column. This is the formula for finding the size of the footing that is total load at the column base divided by bearing capacity of the soil. There are different types of isolated spread footing that is pad footing that is a single pad if it is double pad then it is called as stepped footing. Next is sloped footing. Next is wall footing. Wall footings are used for the load distribution of load bearing wall. That is in load bearing structures to transfer the load from wall to the soil these kind of foundations are used. It is a continuous slab strip. This wall footing runs along the length of the wall and also in the direction of the wall. Width of the wall footing it will be 2 to 3 times the width of the wall. It is economical when footing bed is dense sand and gravel. That is if the footing bed that is the soil is well compacted and it is very dense this kind of footing is preferred. Load of the structure to be transmitted is low. So these are the two conditions in which the wall footing can be preferred. So this is the picture of wall footing. This is the wall footing. This width will be 2 to 3 times more than the width of the wall. Combined footing. Combined footing is very similar to the isolated spread footing. That is the first footing we have seen in this video. Because the design and detailing of both the footings will be very similar. The only difference is that foundation has more than a column or it can be explained as a foundation made common to more than one column is called as combined footing. In combined footing when compared with other footings the load distribution will be very uniform over the entire area. This combined footing is economical when columns are closely spaced, footing overlap each other that is the footing adjacent will overlap each other due to lack of sufficient area. So during that cases combined footing is preferred and also during bearing capacity is low. This is the image of combined footing. As we mentioned earlier more than a column shares a footing. That is this is column number 1 and this is column number 2. Both the columns have a single footing. So in this, this is column number 1, this is column number 2. Both are similar in structure but the shape is different. That is, this is rectangular combined footing, this is trapezoidal combined footing. So next is strap footing. Strap fo in strap footing, footing under a column are built individually and connected by a strap beam. It is very similar to combined footing and reason for choosing this strap footing also similar to the reasons for combined footing. This is the strap beam. This individual column and this individual column are placed in an individual footing which are connected by a beam known as a strap beam. 
it is preferred when edges of the coating cannot be extended beyond property line then it is connected by a strap so this is called as strap footing the last type of foundation we are going to see in this video is raft or mat foundation this kind of foundation is selected when other types are not suitable that is the before mentioned types of foundations are not suitable and even pile foundations are not suitable then this foundation will be used when bearing capacity is poor and the load of structure to be distributed over a large area is subjected to constant jerks then this type of foundation is chosen entire basement acts as foundation and it consists of rc slab t beams placed over entire area it is economical when settlement prevention is highly preferred that is if soil is more cohesive like clay or black cotton soil this kind of foundation is used or if the soil is weak that is clay columns are closely spaced so these are the conditions where raft foundation is used this is the image of raft or mat foundation this bottom pad is called as mat or raft so this foundation is called as raft because building seems like a vessel which floats on a sea of soil in this kind of foundation load spreads evenly over the entire area from all the columns being placed over it thank you for watching our video for more videos subscribe to our channel give us your feedbacks and suggestions for our further improvements thank you